day. Do you know what you just done? Come on. He said, I was sitting over in my truck with a 38, had it loaded and cocked back and stuck it to my head. Come on, bro. Then I said, God, if you still want me to have somebody, go stand on their head with somebody that comfort you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The lady saved a young man. <coughs> Why? Just by being obedient. <coughs> Just simply by hearing him, being close enough to him, and knowing his voice, amen, and doing something radical and standing on our head beside a coat. That don't make a bit of sense to us. That's right. But to God it made sense. Yes. To that young man it saved his life. Yes, it did. Miracles happen when we learn to do it God's way. Amen. Miracles happen when we begin to be obedient, we be patient and wait on God. Yes. Look at David's life now that he took up kingdomship and how that they were blessed the whole time. God is a good God. Amen. Oh, awesome. He knows yes. what he's doing. He don't make mistakes. I heard Brother George say, well, he didn't think that Saul, uh, Saul should have been uh, in kingdomship to start with. That was the people that wanted him. I about agree with that statement. Amen. But they got ahead of God. Yeah, they did. Amen. <coughs> you and I, we're not past getting ahead of God. Amen, brother. But we need to ask God to help us. I hear people all the time say, Brother, don't you pray for patience. Oh, you're going to have, you're going to get tribulation and trials going to come upon you. Let me just go ahead and tell you. They're going to come anyway. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Better be ready. Because God worked perfect patience yes. in His children. God puts us through trials and tribulations to teach us and to help us to grow. Amen. Yes, he does. I, I ministered this morning about growing, maturing in the Lord. Amen. You have to go through things to learn. Amen. People can tell you and you can say you'll do and you know what you're going to do and you're going to handle it this way and you're going to handle it that way. But until you experience it yourself, you really don't know what you're going to do. You think you do. Yeah. But right when you get in the middle of a crisis, that's when you'll find out what you'll really do. Amen? amen. I'm here to tell you tonight, amen. God wants us to wait on Him. He said those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. Yes. They shall walk and shall not fight. See, God is a good God. Yes. Amen. He'll not let you down, Heather. If you'll just put your trust and faith in Him, Jimmy, God knows what you're in need of. God's able to meet it. He knows what your heart desires. It says over in Psalm 37, to delight yourself in the Lord, and He'll give you the desires of your heart. If you want these things to come to pass in your life, then you've got to learn to delight yourself in God. The way I've always explained that word delight is this way. I love uh, coconut, I mean coconut, coconut cream. cream pie. Coconut cream pie. Any pie that you put out there in front of me, <laughs> coconut cream pie there, well I'm going to pick that one for any of them. Come on, bro. Because I love it. Yes. Now, Johnny, on the other hand, he might love chocolate pie. I don't know what he loves. I like that fudge. But, buddy, well, George likes that fudge. Amen? <laughs> so, George is going to pick fudge. No, no, no. And he's going to eat every bite of it and enjoy every bite that he eats. Yes. Why? Because he loves it. Amen. And we'll learn to serve God like that. Oh, like every bite I eat of that pie. Come on, brother. If I learn to serve God like that, sister, so you know what God said? He gave me the desires of my heart. That's your answer, Judy. He'll give you the desires of your heart. He wants to, amen. He loves you, amen. He wants to bless you, amen. He wants you to be full of joy and peace and happiness. He wants you to know who He is, amen. 
But so many times, we try to get it on our own. We try to do it ourselves. And then we find ourselves like David, like others, amen. We find ourselves in situations where he was, next thing you know, he was killing us. Amen. Just to try to cover up what he done to us. I hope to God nobody else here will do like David and do something like that, amen. But I can tell you, amen, that we'll learn to trust God. Yes. The Bible says in Proverbs 3 and 5, to lean not unto thy own understanding. Yes. But acknowledge him in all our ways. He. And he'll direct our yes, path. Yes, he will. Amen. Delight yourself in the Lord. Commit yourself. Amen. Turn back with me to Psalms 37. Let's read those promises there real quickly and we'll close. Amen. Bless the Lord. Yes. Listen to these. Verse 1 says, Fret not thyself because of evil doers, be thou, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down with, like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Hallelujah. Well, just trust in the Lord. Amen. God's going to take care of us. That's what it says. Sure. Just paraphrase a little bit. God said if you'll trust Him, He'll take care of you. He feeds the birds. He'll feed what He said. Amen. Right? That's right. Next one said, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and then He shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Remember. Just like that coconut cream pie. <coughs> Amen. Love the Lord. With all your heart, mind, and soul, and body. Give him praise. Lift him up. Magnify him. Tell people about him. Let them know that he's number one in your life. Amen. And he'll give you the desires of your heart. He said, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. What do you say? Unto my father. Yes. Amen. Commit thy ways unto the Lord. Trust also in him. And he shall bring it to pass. Yes. So we got to commit ourselves. The Bible says over in the book of James chapter 4, it says to submit yourself unto the Lord. Yep. Live for yourself to hell. And live yep. his way. Amen? Yes. So what do we got to do? We got to learn to make a commitment to God. And when we commit to God, stick to it. Yep. Don't make a vow to God and break it. Give your heart, soul, and life completely and totally to God. And let Him be in control. It's hard to do when there's a part of you that's still alive. Amen? Amen. So you have to die so that He shall live. Yep. Amen? Praise the Lord. But if you'll do that, if you'll get a hold of this Word tonight and realize Bless God him. will not let you down. Realize who He is. Yes. So rest in the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Fret not thyself because of, of Him who prospers in His way, because of the man who bringeth wicked to bite. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. What does it say about ceasing from anger? Yep. We can't go through this lifetime. We call ourselves children of God. And allowing everything to upset us. Amen. That's the truth. We've got to get past it. We've got to get back to the joy of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Get close to God. To where things don't rub us like that. Amen. Oh, there's things in this world going to rub you. Amen. Some things may rub me one way. Other things may rub Santa the other way. But we've got to learn to get past it. Yes, we do. How do you do that, Brother Derek? By trusting the Lord. By realizing that God's doing something. Realize that God's the one in control. And He's working something out for your good. Amen. Oh God, I know this is... I hate this and I don't like it. But God, I know that whatever you're doing here, God, is for my good. Yes. 
That's crazy thinking, ain't it? For a carnal man. Yeah. Hey, you tell a, a, a carnal man that, he'll say you lost it. Turn off your rocker or something, amen. Yep. But for a spiritual man, he's able to lift his hand and say, Praise God. Oh God, I don't know why I'm going through this, but I know you're doing something. And it's for my good, God. I know whatever it is, God, oh, it's got to be something good because I hate it. Yes, yeah, come on. But God, I'm going to praise you for it anyways. Amen. God, I'm waiting for you to bring me through. I'll stay here as long as you want me to, God. I'll go through whatever you want me to. Hell, bit over backwards, God, if that's what it takes to make heaven my home and to see others get saved, God. That's what I'll do. I'll tell you, Paul went to where they were at. Amen. I want you to know you and I have to sometimes get down in the dumps with them. Amen. That don't mean we're in sin. Amen. And to do the things that they're doing. Amen. But we have to love them anyway. Yes, amen. we do. Amen. We have to let them know that God loves them. Amen. Praise the Lord. What are you talking about, Brother Gary? I'm talking about being patient and waiting on God. There's some of you in here, you've been praying for loved ones for so long, you've about given up. I'm telling you, don't give up. Amen. Know that God's going to bring it to pass. Amen. amen. God said he would he promised to your whole household. Amen. Stand on it and believe it. Amen. And wait on God. Amen. Hey, don't you? It's going to happen. Amen. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord... They shall inherit the earth. Amen? Yep. You and I got a prize. 